You watch Bill Boster's swing here. Look how the hands fall around in an arc. And that's an A number flaw we see. There's a little bit of a bow out of there because we get a little bit of extension outside. His lead arm is being pulled and extends. Same thing you see on Brett's overhead swing. But watch how tight that hand path is around the body. Again, the extension is a tightening up your forearm of your lead uh, tricep and the arm and bicep coming off your chest. It's not much. Lewis Rayner here coming around to the point of contact. But the point being is that that lead arm starts across a plate and then it goes 90 degrees right in front of you. Watch it here. It, it, it gets a little bit of extension outside and right at impact, it's the body's turned 90 degrees, the shoulders turn 90 degrees, and then you hit the ball square no matter what point of contact you have. So let's look at the guys we have here. This is Bill, strong guy. Look how he's rolling over. Uh, you don't take much of a stride, Bill. And thus, as soon as you roll over, that lay your shoulders, that connection of pulling that around is gone. John's a 68-year-old guy. And John, watch here. You come into the ball. The rotation stops. Your lead arm is weak. You're not pulling that around in an arc. You're not rotating, extending, and pull snapping that to the point of impact with that lead arm. Not transferring the power of the hips. Ray, 71 years old. Watch the roll over here, Ray. And watch your watch. You stop rotating, and you just go forward with the hands, and you roll over. Um, just impossible to hit the ball with any kind of consistency and power. Lee, your shoulders totally stopped. So we had to develop a drill that you guys could use. Here's Ken. Ken had a lot of raw power, but he didn't get extended. Watch how the arm stays pinned to the chest, and then you roll over at impact. Roll underneath it, actually. So. Needed to really crisp up the rotation, getting the lead arm to extend as we rotated, and then when you get to the when the body gets turned open 90 degrees, when we to snap the left wrist to get it scored up. Here's Andrew Collins. Look at the lag we get here. Watch it. it it's, watch the lead arm come off the chest. It's still rotating, but a lag and snap. Watch this rotation, and we end up with the lead arm palm down in front of us and the bat head at impact. That's the gist of the drill. Here's True. True, a very powerful guy. And watch how he chases ahead. And I don't know if it's because he's rolling over like that, that his point of contact is altered. But uh, always early, always way, way, way early. And look at how you're rolling over. You're just not going to make good contact. And it's going to make you chase farther and farther. Follow Andrew, very athletic, 37-year-old, 31-year-old, I believe, 34-year-old. But anyhow, watch how you chase ahead and then watch how your arm's jammed here. Watch how your lead arm is buckled and jammed. No longer are you rotating, your hands are just pivoting at the wrists. So we all needed to get, watch Jeremy Yates, watch the hands rotate around the body. The body rotation is what brings the lead hand, lead arm around, right out to the front. See, yours is buckled, there's no rotation bringing it around anymore. Watch the rotation. And his lead arm tricep extends. And he snap. That's where you get. The, that's where you get the uh, extension snap. So here's our first drill. Just so like you had a hammer, palm down. You want to be. You rotate 90 degrees. Extend the lead arm. Then we grab a right here. Rotate. Stab the lead arm and then snap. Choked up in the bat. The good palm down, palm ground grip. There's your rotation 90 degrees. We already have our hips open, so we're just working the upper body. Shoulder torque. Stab the knob forward and then flex it sideways. And then when you look at there, that's right where your point of contact would be. Rotation and stab. Extend the left wrist. It's out a little far, but not bad. But that's the drill. That's the drill will mimic what um, what you see the great swings doing. The upper body torques open after the hips or with the hips, I guess. And then as you rotate and stab. And extend the lead arm. The lead arm transfers all the power. The top arm just comes along on its own. Good job there, Bill. Your upper body's open. Now watch right here when you start to drill it. Watch Andrew. The shoulders aren't turning. Look at you're just flexing your wrists. So again, the main dominant thing is for that rotation to pull that lead hand around in an arc, the lead arm. Same thing with Bill. Watch. Shoulders aren't rotating. You're just flexing your wrists, and now you turn up the end some. So you have to make sure you do it in sequence. Watch Brett here. Watch that rotation. Rotation is pulling the lead arm around in an arc. And we're, we're stabbing the lead arm forward in the arc to get extension, get it straightened out, create a little bit of a lag, and then top hand snaps. So working the swing simulator at a down angle, good job. This forces you to be more x uh, with a side snap with a Ken. So right there, rotation, and good.
Act style, you stop right at impact. You don't really stop at impact, but we try to bring all our force right to the point of impact. So 100% of what we have is being brought as a bat head is bearing itself into the ball. Step, rotation, front leg's a little bent. It could have a tight rotation, but we'll get the palm down, palm up and palm down. And you got to keep rotating. See, so make sure your rotation pulls it to the inside. You don't just rotate your upper body 90 degrees. Now here, look at where you're looking off to the side there, Andrew. I said, watch the pitch and watch where you're driving it. Much better here. And your rotation brings it to the inside. Bill, this is the hardest thing for you to, to keep rotating. Bare minimum, but better. You're improving on it. You just need to drill it. Look at your shoulders. are barely turning, barely torquing. You know, when you do the boom, that's going to be 100%. That's pretty good, John. Your back foot's dragging when it wasn't before. So here's an interesting drill where we set a... Incredible ball, softball on the tee. We did the lead arm, tried to get it down to there, the lead arm extension drill. We had an X snap, an X handle. And watch, this forces the X to be uh, not roll over, it tries to be an X snap. Watch Bill when he did it. Watch his wrist roll over. And anyhow, that's why this is great. You hit some softballs off the tee, rotation, that pulls the lead arm, you stab and extend to guide, and then you, um, you finally snap. Watch here. This is really good. Look at, look at the rotation. The rotation is really what pulls and rotates. See, there's extension of the lead arm, and then there's a snap. But true, when you put your both hands together in the next swing, you have a tendency to roll over. Watch this. You're not focusing on your lead arm anymore. Probably focus on the top hand of the snap, and you roll over. Again, this is, this is great here. Perfect. Great rotation, great body angle. That's why we drill it over and over. There's the rollover. You turn and roll down. And... When you put your top hand on the ball, just let it do it, just let it help on its own. Good job here, Andy. Look at the rotation. Look at it. lead arm extends and snaps sideways. Perfect. So off the tee here, this is a great drill. I set off the tee. Watch how your lead like your rotation stops. Watch your left arm stop. Rotation and it buckles and you just kind of wrist it through. Watch Frank Henry. Rotation, extension of lead arm and snap. Pulling around the arc. Watch rotation. Rotation stops. You just flex it at the rest. It's a good hit, but not, not with any power. Watch Henry's. It's almost like he's, I'm not going to say dragging the bat head around, but the rotation continues to pull it around. You get extension of the lead arm as it straightens out and stabs, and then you get a snap. Watch here, you're rolling over. See that? So you got to watch for these little subtle things in there. It's a good struck ball, but you got to make sure it's done right. Now watch Bill here. You have a tendency to roll over. You rolled up over the top of that ball. Watch. Watch the knob go down. Watch your wrist. You're rolling up over the top. Not enough shoulder torque. Watch this. Just watch the shoulder torque and how it pulls the lead arm around in an arc. And he's getting extension in there, which is very subtle. And then he's getting the snap. So you make sure you power it around in an arc. Look at that. And the lead arm extends as it stabs forward. Not a lot, but just enough to get straightened out, to create a lag, and then there's your snap. Both wrists snap X ways, sideways. Look how long he keeps from rolling over. Keeps him on that plane a long time and keeps the shoulders connected. So we went here, Bill, much better. Look at that, and look how you have a one arm finish. Um, good struck ball there, but watch your lead arm buckle here afterwards. You want to make sure, Andrew, that's kept straight, and you finish with, keep it straight, you have a one arm finish. See the good overhead view of the rotation here. Watch the hands follow around. Rotation, stab at the lead arm, and then snap. That's a good job. Just pick the ball, clean up the tee over and over. You have your hips open. Now watch here. The, right there you should have been making an impact. So here's a Look at the tee. Your partner set your tee two feet out ahead of you. You're going to roll over the top of it. you got to have the tee closer. And then it helps here. The tee's, tee's out in front there, but you still snapped it pretty good. Here's an inside pitch you're working on. Ray, and, and look, watch, watch Yates here, or Yates, watch Henry here. Pulls it all the way around in an arc. And when we come to yours, watch. Rotation stops, your hands are just going forward, 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 and you cleave down underneath there. The rotation is what guides it and levels it up. Real nice swing right there, Bill. So phenomenal working with you guys. I'll put the exit speed increases before and afterwards. We just need to work on that new drill. Lead arm um, rotation follows the rotation with extension. Awesome. Really enjoyed it. Good, all right. Nice. That oh, is absolutely good. That was nice. Um, stabbing and going all the way around as far as possible. So doing that lead arm uh, rotating stab drill? Yep. Yep.
Look at that. Get out of the Look at that. Taking more than I ever had before. So yeah, and basically, so and what brings that on? The lead arm rotation and stab drill, right? Right. Good swing. Beauty. Last one. That's a, that's a, take your step, boom. Don't, look how far out you are. You should be right here. I mean, when you turn open, go ahead and turn open. Your hand, when you finish that drill, your hand should be right in front of you, like right here. 76. Way around. Beautiful. 77. B. B. I'm working on the shoulder rotation. That's pretty much all I'm thinking. It's just like the shoulders bring the hands around. And that's just the shoulder rotation, but talk about the drill we're doing. Yeah, the lead arm bill drill. Demonstrate. Yeah. Right point B. Yep. Oh, there there. Nice. Look at that. Oh, come okay. on. <laughs> Great. Nice ball. Swinging and learning how to extend. I still have to work on that, but just shoulder rotation to bring the left arm through. That's all I'm thinking and, about. And when you finish, don't roll it over. Go to the point of contact where you focus on stopping right there. Uh, working on going point A to point B, but trying to just let it go and trust my hands to get there and uh, make sure that my upper body rotates. Look at that. Hey. Good ball. Ray, turn, right. tell the back camera what you did in those last three swings. They're so good. Well, I, I got my rotation a little stronger. And I, I was kind of concentrating on my snap because I, I wanted to get that little extra push on the ball. Beautiful. 67. Nice shot. Beautiful, man. Great. 71. Okay. Super job, all right. Oh! When you rotate. Good ball. You get it here, and then power that all, let go of your top hand. Power that all the way around. Look uh -oh. at that. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh, but! Not lifted. Beautiful. Nice.